Welcome to the Geeks Attic. This is a Star Wars short story review of The Voice of the Empire. Star Wars The Voice of the Empire is a short story found exclusively within the pages of Star Wars Insider number 170. It is written by Murr Lafferty with art by Jason Chan. In this tale, we delve into the mainstream media that is found in the Star Wars galaxy. Now, just like the real world, media is usually pretty biased and controlled by some big puppet master. Well, now the Empire has taken control of the Holonet News, or HNN. Not controlling the media, the Empire can be as transparent as it wants to be by censoring out all the gruesome facts. Aridin, Weez, or Wes, Wessy, some of these Star Wars names are a little bit too complicated. Well, Aridin is the new head of HNN, meaning that Mandora Kitab is now um, retiring pretty early. Even though management is changing hands, the favorite reporter and main character, another complicated name, um, Calope Druth, or Calope Druth. Anyway, she's promoted and receives a small gift from her former boss. This gift is a small droid that can just sit on your shoulder. It's a recorder droid. It's an XOX model, or Zox. Now from this moment on, Callop, she will be the voice of the Empire, a face the galaxy can trust. Now she has her first assignment, and that is to go to the Imperial Ball and report on what the fashion trends are, and uh, rub shoulders with some of the important dignitaries that are there. Now Callop, she was an investigative reporter and really doesn't want to go, you know, report on fashion. It's pretty lame. But she does not argue, and she goes home to get ready. And that's when the little XOX droid that Mandora, her former boss, gave her as a gift, displays a hollow of Mandora, telling her that she is leaving Coruscant to go join the Rebellion, but Cal, you need to stay there and do your job for the Empire. However, there is a little opening for the Rebellion if you're interested. Finally, Caleb is at the Imperial Ball having boring conversations with Senators, boring conversations with Imperials, until it finally gets exciting when the newcomer arrives and everyone's attention turns to him. That's right, Commander Orson Krennic. Now, she would like to go have a conversation with Commander Krennic, but she's stuck talking to some Imperials about their careers, just yakking on about their boring careers. And all of a sudden, her droid malfunction, her recorder droid malfunctions, falls off her shoulder, rolls on the floor right up to Orson Krennic. Now remember, that droid has a uh, hollow on it about someone joining the Rebellion, so uh, what happens next? Get issue 170 of it, Star Wars Insider and find out. Now let's talk about characters. Now the only character really to talk about in this story is Caleb Druth. Um, I don't really like her. I don't dislike her. She's just kind of boring. She has a big scar on her face. She doesn't want to get it fixed because she wants to prove to everybody how loyal she is to her job and how dedicated she is to getting the story out. Now for my final thoughts and review, honestly, I did not like this story. It was pretty boring. The characters, nothing special. The dialogue, very bland, nothing memorable. Um, the character names were very hard to pronounce, as you can see in this video. I don't know how to say them. They're very strange. Now, there was really no meat in this story. There was nothing to really sink into and get involved in. There was no action, and the climax really failed to deliver. It really bums me out that this story wasn't that great, because what we had in Insider 169, Turning Point, was fantastic. We had great characters, great dialogue, great story. Everything about it was just so fascinating. As for the rest of the material in Insider 170, it is definitely worth the pickup. Although the short story fell flat, this has some great information about Rogue One. We get introduced to the actors that are playing these wonderful characters. We get a look at some of the concept art and other pictures from the film. And a couple other little goodies. So, go pick up Star Wars Insider number 170. And that does it for this video. Subscribe if you haven't already so you'll be notified when I post more videos. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at the Geeks Attic and thegeeksaddict.com. Have a good one. So from this point on, Caleb, Callop, Druth, Droth, Callop, Druth, Droth.